Breaking news from D.C. Trump just knocked Oprah the hell out. The 63-year-old Oprah Winfrey stole the show at the Golden Globe Awards on Sunday night with her speech after being awarded the Cecil B. DeMille Award for Achievement. Many people were amazed by her speech and Twitter was flooded by hashtags like hash Oprah for President and hash Oprah 2020. But a White House spokesman said that President Donald Trump would gladly face her as an opponent in the 2020 presidential race. After the Donald Trump beat out what is concerned to be the most qualified presidential primary field in history and went on to win the White House in 2016 with help from his popularity and fame as a reality TV star, it no longer seems out of the norm to consider a similar campaign by Oprah Winfrey who is an actress, movie and television producer and chief executive of her own cable channel. According to our source, Freedom Daily, Oprah got a standing ovation from the Hollywood crowd at the Golden Globe Awards and she surprised everyone with her speech. For too long, women have not been heard or believed if they dared to speak their truth to the power of those men, but their time is up, their time is up. So I want all the girls watching here and now to know that a new day is on the horizon. And when that new day finally dawns, it will be because of a lot of magnificent women, many of whom are right here in this room tonight, and some pretty phenomenal men fighting hard to make sure that they become the leaders who take us to the time when nobody ever has to say, me too. If Oprah and her Hollywood pals had given this speech in 1997, when Bill Clinton was abusing Monica Lewinsky, groping Kathleen Willey, harassing Paula Jones and was accused of rape by Juanita Broderick, then Oprah and her pals would have some credibility. She didn't mention Bill Clinton or Hillary, whom she endorsed in 2016, and she didn't explain why she would endorse her, to attack the women victimized by Bubba. She did mention Reese Taylor, a black victim of rape in 1994 by white men. Oprah apparently doesn't care about the rape of Juanita, but she knows her base and audience, so she talked about black women being raped. She sure takes notes from her friend, Barack Obama. Her speech has aroused CNN and the rest of the fake news media to start cheerleading for an Oprah 2020 presidential run. Scroll down to the comments and tell us what you think, you think.